What is going on today guys? Tomcat here and welcome to another video in Spin Tires Mud Runner. This one is packed full of new mods like for example Banks' new Ranger Raptor. Now not to be confused with the new actual Ranger Raptor from Ford. This is Banks' own creation. This is basically a, if we put the full body on, it's basically an old style Ranger body in the middle and then pretty much like Raptor tail lights and raptor headlights and a raptor grill and pretty much a raptor front clip so it's a bit of an odd truck but you can either do it with the full body or the half body the half body is actually kind of cool i kind of dig the half body but um the half body does give you the tail lights but they're they're like they're only mounted on the cage which is kind of weird but i think i'm gonna run it with the half body first because i think the half body is actually kind of cool and we have a giant dump truck here as well for um for reasons that I don't think I should have to explain, it's kind of one of those because we could, uh, so we're doing it. And let's see. So the start line. Oh, this has spawn locators. Beautiful. Beautiful. I love when maps have spawn locators and they actually use them. So let's take off. Now, I'm assuming that this truck handles like a lot of Banks' other trucks, especially his race trucks. And so far, I would be right. It's very fast. You definitely want to keep keep it in all-wheel drive with the diff lock off if you're going straight because if you turn the diff lock on it will pull all over the place um i like the oh damn oh damn oh my god that was bad that was real bad you definitely want to keep the diff lock off if you're trying to go in a straight line that being said i i seem like i may have just had a issue going in a straight line with diff lock off but you have to be careful because these, basically there's like these concrete um, kind of retaining walls almost that you jump off of. That you have to be careful you don't catch under power because if you catch them under power, they will throw you for a loop. And that's what just recently happened to me. Now, oh, oh, I love that. You actually go over the paved part of the road and you kind of have to like stay between the cones. I like that. It's a cool touch. Now, if I put in an automatic... It does go up to 5th. Oh, there's a cool, like, almost multi-level type deal here. You can go to the left and kind of work your way around the upper edge, or you can jump off of it, and I don't know which way of, which way would be faster, but, wow, that was... That was a easy way to spin out, is what that was. But what I feel like I really want to do is get together with... maybe Maybe even get together with Banks and just race a couple of his trucks here, because this map... It seems like one of those maps that reminds me of that was just about perfect but it reminds me of a lot of the a lot of the old like oh god it reminds me of a lot of the older um racing maps from the original spin tires and kind of how they used to be laid out i love the transition between asphalt and back to dirt again i think that's a really nice touch and i love the little campsite there's a lot of nice touches here and i think that that surge did a really good job uh, with everything on this map. Now, with that being said, the main course is a little short, but that's not a bad thing because that can, you know, that'll allow you to actually, like, turn more laps and you can kind of get a really cool, like, you know, really good flow going within a race. So, I don't think it's a bad thing that the main course isn't all that long. I think it's actually, like, just about the perfect length. Um, and also, there are very few sections that were... Whoa, God. There are very few sections that require your truck to be like this, you know, monstrous, you know, machine of speed and power to actually complete a full lap. You don't have to have a ton of power. You don't have to have a ton of top speed to complete a full lap. Like, this is one of the few spots right there where power matters because you need to take that jump. But there's a lot of lower powered trucks that could race here without issue. I'm going to take the upper end of this real quick. Whoa. And if you're if you get a flow going with the truck, you're you'll be you'll be just fine. You just got to keep in mind that at low speed, it does pull a, like pull around from the front end a lot, especially oh god. Although I, I can say for a fact that it feels like this truck was tuned for this map. Either that or the map was made for the truck. One of the two, but they they definitely match well together. If I could like stop doing that. That was weird. So apparently if you turn all-wheel drive off and diff lock on, it'll just wheelie. That's hilarious. Yeah, it... Whoa! Whoa! Okay. Well, that might be an indication that we need to switch... Wheelie heaven. All right. Well, that... 
All right, diff lock on and high range. Yeah, um, that's whoa. So yeah, uh, this truck is tuned to do wheelies if you turn all wheel drive off. Definitely. Um, it goes in a straight line very easily if you turn all wheel drive off, but it also, it also doesn't really turn under power in rear wheel drive mode because all it's doing is wheeling. That's it. All it's doing is wheeling. And you can either have it in all wheel drive with the diff lock off and it can only be minorly sketchy or you can have it in all wheel drive with the diff lock on and it can be super sketchy. It can be like stupidly sketchy. Now, if I could just get a little bit further along here, that would be great. Oh my God, save that please. Wow, that was, that was close. That was, that was really close. I have a feeling that he's also put some little, like, some little pieces, like, bits and pieces along the side of the road that make them look like shortcuts, but they're not actually shortcuts, if that makes any sense. Like, it, it, it kind of entices you to take them, but I feel like if you take them, you're not going to end up going any faster. In fact, you're probably going to end up going slower if you take some of these, quote-unquote, shortcuts uh, that are in this map. Now, if you keep going straight, you'll just... Okay, you drive off the map. This map is very small. There's nothing really that's like... There's nothing really that's, you know, mind-blowing about the map's size. Um, really, uh, actually, like, if, you, if you're really going to kind of think about it, the map size is not impressive. But, you know what is impressive? What they've done with such a small space. I think that's, that's honestly genuinely a lot more impressive to me is what they've done with such a small space. But we have to go and turn the Ranger Raptor off because right now, as with all of Banks' trucks, that's all you can freaking hear. Like, I'm serious. That's all you can freaking hear. This thing is going to need some gas or fuel, diesel. And we're going to go and warp over to the start line. And okay, cool. We're in front of the, we're in front of the Ranger or Ranger Raptor or whatever you want to call it. Now, let's see if this big boy here can do a full lap. Low three is going to be the fastest, like, consistent speed we can do. Oh, God. Well, there's your answer to that, people. That, that's, that's, yeah, that's not, that's not great. Oh, won't even let me, what about road jump? Oh, it lets me go to road jump. Okay. Maybe it's because it's, like, not like a certain distance away or, or what i don't know oh it's staying in high is it gonna spool up enough to go i don't think so yeah high should not be slower than low three and there's something going on there the overhang in the front is just so low it's gonna hit everything it, there's no way around it it's gonna hit everything Although I do feel like bringing this here was... I mean, yeah, effectiveness-wise, of course it's a mistake to bring this thing here. But, at, oh. I wonder. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. I wonder. So, we've got this Chevy here. Now, we've got this hair Chevy here. And, uh, what we gonna do is... Let's see. I want to see, like, th there's got to be more to this map than just the track. Right? Like, there's got to be more to it than just the track. Because, wow, that was stylish. God dang. All right. You're getting a full refill, by the way. Um, but there's got to be more to this map than just the track, right? Because there's so many other areas out here that I can't imagine that they're just here. You know what I mean? Like, there's got to be some purpose to them, right? And maybe the only purpose to them is to just kind of, like, bomb around and have fun. But, like, you can actually, you can go out here in the desert and have a blast. There might not be any road, but you don't always need one. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. What are we doing? Let's go. There we go. Yeah, there's definitely no, like, there's no reason to not come out here apart from, like, apart from maybe the fact that, are you serious? Something's blocking the, really? All right. No, that's not what I wanted. Uh, I wanted to bring the Chevy to the... Oh my god, I forgot to switch trucks first. I'll bring the Chevy 
to the start line. Which apparently we can't do. Oh my god. Alright. We're recalling. I was like, there's no way. That, that, that's the only way that I'm going to be able to do this. Or at least the way the game is going to let me do this. Now there is water out here, which I'm assuming is very deep. And I'm also assuming that you shouldn't go into. But we're here for testing purposes, so let's find out. Yeah. It's actually not as deep as I figured it would be. I mean, like, the giant dump truck would probably be able to drive through there without issue. Let's do another wheelie. I really want to do another wheelie. Y Dude, what the hell? That's so, that's so hilarious. Like, the fact that it works, and it does it so effortlessly and so easily. It just squats down and wheelies. Like, that's it. It just squats down and wheelies. And it never, like... It never gives you any crap about it either. It just it just sits the back end down, pulls the front axle up, and is off the ground, like, immediately. Oh, God. Could we, like... There we go. And go! Another wheelie! <laughs> Easy as hell! No big deal! God, you gotta be careful with that, though. Like, it, it will... It will put you into, like, weird situations if you use it at the wrong time. Like, situations that you probably don't want to be in. And I hit the cones. That was bad. Is there anything out here for, like... Well, this is kind of where we went in the Chevy, but not quite. Like, there's... You could use this as an off-roading area. I... Or you could use it as a place to... <laughs> plant a pre-runner in the ground... Like, literally actually plant a pre-runner in the ground. Um, yeah. That, that has become a odd situation. But, I really enjoyed this map. I actually really, really did. And I think it's, it's simple. But, it's simple in a good way. And it's simple in a way that you guys can use it. And it's, it's, it's easy to use. And it's a map that you can just, like, take a truck to. Do a couple laps. And easily get a feel for it. And easily get a feel for how the truck is going to drive. I love the fact that this thing's going to wheelie everywhere. And, uh, hope you all enjoyed. I'll see you guys in the next one. Talk to you all later.